Hey guys, so welcome to episode two. Episode two. Two. Episode two of Really Great Stories. So today we're going to read another great book to you. It is called Same, Same or Different by Rupa Pai. Um, and let's give this a go, shall we? Here we go. Mama put Sparrow's lunchbox into her school bag and folded her wings around her. <laughs> Have a good day, darling, she said. Pay attention and be polite. Oh, Mum, laughed Sparrow. You say that every day. And remember, said Mama, stay away from Snake. He's different. Sparrow wished Mama hadn't said that. Snake was her best friend, but Mama didn't approve of Snake. His people eat our people, she always said. Sparrows and snakes can never be friends. On the other side of town, Snake's papa was packing his lunchbox with birds' eggs. Today's special, son, he said proudly, but I hate eggs, papa, groaned Snake. We've always eaten them in this family, said papa sternly. Now off you go, and remember, stay away from Sparrow. Snake slithered away, feeling angry. Sparrows are different, papa called after him. You can't be friends with your food. Man, when Snake met Sparrow at school, they knew. Your mama said, asked Snake. When Snake met Sparrow at school, they knew. Your mama said, said Snake. Sparrow nodded. Your papa too, Snake nodded. Our parents are wrong, Sparrow said. Uh, Our parents are wrong, Sparrow said Snake. Let's show them that we are more same-same than different. Great idea, said Sparrow. Let's. She pulled out a sheet of paper and drew two circles on it like this. Uh, in the yellow part of the left circle, said Sparrow, we put down just Sparrow things. In the blue part of the right circle, just Snake things. These are all ways in which snakes and sparrows are different. Snake was puzzled. I thought we wanted to think of ways in which we were the same. Uh, that's what the green part in the middle is for, smiled Sparrow. First, let's think about how we look, said Sparrow. Same, same or different? Very different, sighed Snake. I'm long, hairless and thin. You're small, plump and soft. You're right, said Sparrow. I look like a powder puff. <laughs> <laughs> she drew a powder puff in the yellow crescent and you look like a rope so rough. She drew a rope in the blue crescent. Now she said, how do we move? Very differently, Snake said looking even sadder. You fly through the air, flap flapping. I slither along the ground, zigzagging. In other words, said Sparrow, I move like a plane and you move like a train. <laughs> that sounds fun. Snake sighed. Cheer up, Snake, said Sparrow briskly. Let's see now, what do we eat? Very different things. Snake's eyes filled with tears. But I don't eat bird's eggs. I know, said Sparrow soothingly. But now she looked glum too. Seeds and grass, she muttered as she drew them in the yellow crescent. Frogs and rats, she sputtered and drew them in the blue crescent. Snake and Sparrow jumped. It was Headmaster Elephant. Why the long faces, kids? He asked kindly. Oh, sir, sobbed Snake. My papa and Sparrow's mama say we can't be friends because we are so different. We wanted to show them we were more same, same than different, sir, said Sparrow. But it isn't working. Headmaster Elephant looked at the circles a long time then he began to laugh. Ha 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 ha. 
Snake and Sparrow stared at him. What was so funny? Don't you see, kids? He said finally, wiping his tears. You are doing this all wrong. Let me help you. Headmaster Elephant settled down on the bench. Now then, Snake, he said, what do you like doing best? Playing and chatting, sir, said Snake, especially with Sparrow. And you, Sparrow? Chatting and playing, sir, said Sparrow, especially with Snake. Right, said Headmaster Elephant. You like doing the same things. And he drew something in the green part. Next, said Headmaster Elephant, what makes you happy kids? When Miss lets me sit next to my friend, sir, Snake began to smile. Same, same, sir, sir, clapped Sparrow. <laughs> Aha, said Headmaster Elephant. You both had the same happy place, green. All right, what makes you sad, Snake and Sparrow? That Papa says I should stay away from Sparrow, sir, sighed Snake. That Mama says I should stay away from Snake, sir, sighed Sparrow. Headmaster Elephant frowned. You're both sad, he said, for the same reason. Your parents don't let you choose your friends. Green again. Now then, said Headmaster Elephant, who do you think is the best kind of friend? Someone who loves you, began Snake. Even though you were different, finished Sparrow. So you both agree, said Headmaster Elephant. That's a true friend. Loves you no matter what. That makes four same-sames and only three difference. Same-sames win. Hooray, said Snake and Sparrow. Thank you, Headmaster Elephant. One last thing. Yes, sir? Tell your parents I want to see them in my office. First thing tomorrow morning and Headmaster Elephant marched away looking fierce indeed. So kids, what's the point of that story? Well, those guys, they were very, very different. They were. One was a bird, one was a snake, so they one liked slithered, different One slithered, one flew. They liked different things, they get around in different ways, they eat different things, but there were lots and lots of ways that they were the same. Mm -hmm. What ways did you think they were the same? They enjoyed the same stuff, they have fun, they love each other in the same way. So there's always a reason, even if somebody seems a little bit different to you, mm -hmm. to take the time to go and speak to them and make friends with them because we're all human, we're all the same. It doesn't matter how you look, what's going on in your life, what color your skin is, who your mum and dad are, or even if you don't have a mum or you don't have a dad, it doesn't matter, we're all the same. Exactly right. So, there's a little exercise here that was at the end of this book and I'm just gonna take you through it because it might be really, really, really cool for you guys to do. So, the first bit says, um, think about the many ways in which you can sort and group toy animals. You can sort them according to their color, blue animals in one circle and yellow in another. You can sort them according to their size, small in one circle and big in another, or according to how they move. Animals that walk, animals that fly, maybe animals that use two legs and animals that use four legs. Would the groups be different each time? Why don't you guys try it and see? Because I reckon you could come up with lots of different ways that you can group them into two different groups. But then at the end, they're all animals. They're all the same. Absolutely. We're the same as everybody else around Absolutely us, right. guys. Anyway, I really enjoyed reading that story to you. Did, as, you? did I? Yeah. Absolutely, it was great. Great fun. We will be back again very, 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 very shortly with another really great story. But until then, see you next time, guys. Bye.